East Asia for me is just completely different from anything else. Even now when I do go back, there's something there that I don't quite understand, and that's exciting. I knew I didn't want to do a degree that was kind of ordinary. I wanted to do something that was kind of out there. Korean studies was kind of the degree for me. <laughs> Growing up speaking some European languages, the writing system in Chinese really interested me. Through listening to Japanese music, I got an interest in the culture and then I just had the desire for knowledge to learn Japanese, really. East Asian Studies is really important to the University of Sheffield. The department is one of the oldest in the country. We have a wide range of fields that you can study here from politics, economics, culture and language of course is one of the main things that we specialise in. East Asian Studies gives you the ability to think through problems on a broader scale, on a global scale. I can tailor the course to my own interests and because the classes are quite small it's very easy to immerse yourself and see the progress each week when you study. Our teachers put so much effort into the lessons. They are so approachable as well. If you have any problems they are there for you. A lot of the language studies side is actually curated by our own teachers here so it feels like you are getting things prioritised as the way that they believe you need it. Every student in SAS gets the opportunity to travel to East Asia where you'll spend time practising your language but also practising your cultural skills. My year abroad was the best year of my life. Honestly, I wish I could still be there. <laughs> It was a great shock when I arrived and it was like I was living a hundred miles an hour. Throughout my year abroad I was basically solidifying the language skills that I made here at Sheffield and improving on them and I made friends throughout the world and I got to experience so many things. I kind of decided after the year abroad that the one thing I wanted to do was go back and live there. After graduating I think I would really like to study an MA at Sheffield and follow that through with hopefully an internship in diplomacy. I think it's really solidified for me that translation is something that I really want to do in the future and hopefully one day I'll be out in Japan doing my dream job. <laughs>